is there is this a kind of standard charger? So I'm getting an MG for example. If I was to change cars, would I still be good to go with this one? Yes, yeah, so this is called a Type 2 connector. Um, so predominantly most vehicles now are Type 2. Um, earlier cars there were a Type 1, which was a bit more of a smaller connector. Um, but you'll find now the majority of vehicles are coming through a Type 2. So why do I need this at all? I mean, why can't you just plug it in, like you plug anything else in? Some houses just don't have the capacity. Um, with technology now, we've got chargers that can do load management, so you can share loads. If you've got high consuming products in the house, ovens, kettles, etc., we can make the charger throttle back when those items are turned on, um, which obviously helps massively with houses that haven't got too much capacity. So when you say capacity, what do you mean exactly? Uh, electrical capacity, so your incoming supply, the amount of actual power you can pull from the grid. Um, so conventionally you've got a 60, an 80 or a 100 amp main fuse. Um, obviously the higher being better for anybody who's got a car charger because the car charger can pull up to 32 amps. If you've got a couple of ovens and you've got a kettle on and then you put your car on as well, you'll get into the threshold. Um, and if you go beyond that threshold, the fuse goes bang. So it's here, my first ever electric car. And I'm laughing because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I mean, how do I charge it up? How do I make sure I don't run out of charge? That's it, I'm about to do my first school run in an electric car for the first time. And I'm kind of apprehensive, but I feel good because I feel like the most complicated part of the whole procedure is over. Is over. It was a little bit um, overwhelming at the beginning. You know, where are you gonna put the charger? What kind of charger are you gonna have? How many leads are you gonna have? Is it gonna be tethered or untethered? So, so many questions, but now I feel we've got the car. I know what to do and the charger's all in place so now it really is simple. I don't even have to go and um, refuel my car anywhere, um, you know, in terms of getting petrol and things. So we'll see what it's like. I think the thing actually weirdly that I'm most nervous about is the silence of it. It just feels weird when you switch it on and it's quiet. There is no engine starting. But I'm excited, I'm really excited to see how it works out. I think the route um, ahead is pretty obvious, if you don't mind the pun. EV is, um, first of all, the technology is really, really there, um, better than it ever, ever has been. So it's about time that we adopted it. Um, obviously, there's obvious reasons for why EV. We don't want emissions, we don't want to be using carbon fuels. Um, we can regenerate, uh, we can generate electricity in an environmentally friendly way. I have solar panels here. Um, it's not simple, uh, you know, where our electricity comes from isn't simple, but it's possible um, and better than emissions. So I really wanted to find out a bit more about what having an EV car was like. Um, and whether it really is a realistic option, which it seems to be now for the first time in a very long time. Um, I think it's, I think we all have to do our bit, whatever that is. And if you can fit this into your life and it works, well then we should be doing it. <laughs>